Hi, welcome back to another video. Today I've decided I'm going to re-grip my board. Not something I do very often and not something people do in general very often, but I've noticed in the last few skate sessions that my feet are slipping on the grip tape. There's still life left in my board currently, so I decided that I'm just going to re-grip it for now. And I can't actually decide what I want to change my board to. I may well just get another one the same because I really like the shape and the concave. Um, if I was to get something else, maybe get something slightly wider. But I can't find anything that I really want at the moment, so in the short term I'm just going to re-grip it. Now I never really do things in the most conventional way, so I've decided not just to re-grip it normally like anyone else would. I'm going to do something a bit different, something fun, a little bit fancy. I'm not going to show you it now, I'm going to let you watch the video and see it take shape. Some of you might hate it. Uh, in fact, I know for sure some people are going to hate it, but it's an idea I've had in my head for quite some time. I thought I'd give it a shot, seeing it as a re-grip on a used board. If I like it, I might do it again on the next board. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and the process, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think, whether you do the same thing. Yeah, I'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching.
So there you go, something a bit different. Maybe uh, people are going to hate it, but I think it's quite cool. So what I did, I basically cut out the Power Peralta Flight logo and uh, cut it out into the, the grip tape there. That black you can see through there, I don't know if you can see very well in the camera. That's uh, the carbon fibre weave of the top layer of the flight deck. So these flight decks have got a couple of layers of carbon fibre in them. And uh, that's what you can see there, that kind of weave. My only concerns at the moment about the grip job is that these parts here are very thin. They are stuck down very well. Uh, I just wonder whether at some point maybe my feet will scuff that part and it will tear up. I've actually got all the pieces that came out of here, all the pieces that are cut out and they're all intact. What I might do is draw around them and cut some new pieces out of black grip tape and stick them in the gaps and, and fill the, if, if that breaks this blue bit here, for example, I'll, I'll cut a strip of blue because I've got some blue left that came out of this, this spot. I'll cut some blue and fill the gap in. In my experience, grip does actually, if you, you cut it out and, and mesh it together, like fill a gap like that, it does, if you do a good job of cutting it out, it does cut in very well. So you can do great, I mean, I've seen loads of great grip tape jobs of grip tape that's been um, cut into different shapes and, and stuck together. So I know that that works and you just have to get a bit intricate with the, with the knife like I did in, in the video here. So that's my only concern, these bits being a bit thin. Um, but actually it's not where I plant my feet. I mean, my feet get planted about here and up here and obviously, you know, down here and on the tail. So I don't think my feet are gonna be in this spot very much at all, but you know, it can happen. But uh, the grips, you know, stuck down very well and uh, it's new grip, so it's obviously very grippy. And I've uh, finished off all the edges quite well, you know, uh, as you usually would with the grip job. Yeah, a bit of fun, bright blue. Blue's my favorite color and uh, it's a bit different for grip tape. I know you can get all kinds of colors of grip tape now and, you know, pattern stuff and, uh, you know, graphics on it and such, but I quite liked this and uh, maybe you do too. So there you go, that's my re-grip job and I'll see how long it lasts and uh, see what happens before I get my next board. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and if you like what I've done and you like the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Share it around with some, some other people if, uh, if you like. Show them what I've done and show me what you've done even. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in the next video. Cheers.